Welcome back, you guys, or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming, another Clash Royale video, and this one spawned from that recent video that you guys might have seen where I was talking about one hit point on every tower and how to get it done. Uh, that was absolutely crazy, and the response in the comments on Twitter was just nuts. Thank you guys so much. So many people went out immediately after that episode and recreated that one hit point on every tower, and then... They accepted the challenge that I posted at the end of that video, and that was to do the old tie, tie, three crown draw, meaning in overtime, both players take an opposing player's tower at the same time. The battle continues. It happens again. The battle continues again, and then the battle ends in a three crown draw. So lots of different videos spawned from that single idea, and again, thank you all for the submissions on that. I took the very first submission that I could see on Twitter that morning immediately after the video went out and we used that one. That is going to be slightly later in this video and those guys each got a $25 gift card of their choice. I believe they both took iTunes and uh, congratulations to them again. You'll see that video in just a couple of minutes. Now, I love the idea of these challenges, posting something that's difficult for you guys to do and then seeing if you can do it. I do it often in my own clan, but imagine the pool of players if all of you guys want to get involved as well. So I'm looking for ideas, okay? Not just close battles, not just glitch things like, you know, double ice golems and the rocket destroys the tower or the sparky and stuff like that. I want things that seem impossible, like, you know, a 1.8 deck beating a uh, much higher level player or something like that. Something that's going to be out of the ordinary, going to be really hard to do. After I posted this challenge about the uh, tie tie three crown draw, I did kind of realize that, well, if you're playing in the same room with the other person, this isn't quite that difficult. But eh, that's okay. We'll move on. So we're taking a look at a pretty close battle against a couple of dirty uh, Royal Giant users. Now, of course, one of them is Big Lou and my own full attack clan. So, hey, but like I always say, I hate to sound like a broken record. If it's in the game, it's fair play. Both of these guys, though, using the Royal Giant and the Elite Barbs, some very hated cards right now in the game. And uh, so they kind of deserved each other. They kind of earned each other's presence here. And this turns out to be a pretty close battle. As you can see, Big Lou does have the 1-0 lead, just about to go into overtime. But he's desperately trying to hold on to that tower on the right-hand side. And it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Time counting down. Pressure on the other side with his uh, level 11 elite barbs up against the level 10s. The log, I'm sorry, level 12s. The log gets the tower down, and so we're tied 1-1 going into overtime, and yes, Big Lou does have his level 2 Zap Wizard, Electro Wizard in action, so color me jealous on that one. A couple more Royal Giants meet at the river, well times Fireball, grabbing damage, it does look like it just missed the Ice Wizard though, and again, a couple of Electro Wizards up at the same time, doing a good job of slowing down the damage from the Royal Giant, so Maybe I want one. Nah, they suck. They, they suck. Electro Wizards suck until I get them, and then they'll be cool. All right? Anyway. No, not jealous. Not bitter at all. Moving on. 24 seconds left in overtime. This looks like it's going to be advantage Big Lou, but then the big push from his opponent. Check out all the units coming across the river. The Royal Giant, that evil middle deployment of the Royal Giant is so tough to counter. In comes the Electro Wizard. Fireball, a couple more shots from the Royal Giant, and the log should do it. And it's not going to happen. Six hit points. Big Lou's dirty middle deployed Royal Giant grabs the win with just six hit points left on his second tower. All right, so let's move on. Here it is. Kunal and Vesper Vic from the clan. Noobs are us. These were the first guys to complete the Tai Tai three crown draw challenge that I asked you guys to try in that recent video about a week or a week and a half ago. There it is! The simultaneous zap spells getting that first tower down and then wait for it. The second set of zap spells is right behind. They both have mirrored zaps up and ready. Again, these guys, it turns out, are related to each other and that might make it a little bit easier to press the button at the exact same time on the iPad or on the phone or whatever device, potato, you're using. They're both sitting there next to each other. Maybe it's just one guy doing it for both. You never know. But there it is. 
the second zap spell goes down and both players get the other tower. Now, rather than try a rocket, they both rotated around to something that was going to be easier to use, that being the zap spell. And that does kind of make sense because with a rocket, a fireball, anything like that, timing is going to be even more difficult. But here it comes as time counts down and over time, the last zap spell for the tie, tie, three crown draw. Here they come. Any second now. There it is. All right. So three to three and the battle ends in a draw. So a pretty cool thing to watch. But this guy right here, Daryl on Twitter, shout out to Daryl. He gave me the thought, well, why don't you just destroy all six towers at the same time with a simple spell at the same time on the other player? So I thought, okay, duh, let's take another one of my accounts and let's try this myself. So I got into a battle, Gallad on YouTube versus Gallad on YouTube. Yes, that's dash versus underscore. And well, I'm gonna fast forward through most of this battle. We'll get down towards the end. Here it comes, trying to time rockets at the same time landing on the tower for the... All right, so this took more than one try. It's surprising how close you have to be to get this exactly right. So I went back in, Tried it one more time, again, trying to get the rockets perfectly timed. Maybe it's my lack of coordination, I don't know. But we've got rockets up on both accounts at the same time. I press on the screen what I thought was simultaneous. Doesn't happen again. This time I win. Last time I won. This time I won. But I kept trying. Here we go. One more time as time counts down. Both towers ready to fall to a rocket. We send the rocket at... The exact same moment. There it goes across the screen. Could this finally be it? Here they come. Yes. It's the three ground rocket draw. That one took me a few tries, uh, but it was pretty cool. Pretty rewarding. And then um, I, I could not believe that I BM'd myself uh, right there at the end. It got me pretty upset. It's like, no, really? Come on. And so I was pretty up. And, you know, normally I don't BM, but, but this guy BM'd me. And so I had to BM him back. So... BM, that means bad manners for those of you that aren't familiar. All right, anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around for this unusual and slightly, hopefully, interesting episode of Clash Royale. Again, let me know your challenges, your thoughts on unusual battles that I should send out as a challenge for you. Make sure you subscribe for daily Clash content. Hashtag Galafam. See you tomorrow. Full attack. and shorter.